그 미국의 장비 구매하는 나라를 굉장히 좋아합니다. 감사드립니다. Well, we are discussing certain humanitarian things right now, and I'm okay with that, to be honest. I think you have to be okay with that. And South Korea is doing certain things to help out with food and various other things for North Korea. And we'll be discussing different things inside. Again, the relationship is a much different relationship than it was two years ago. You remember what that was all about. And certainly uh, during the Obama administration, where nuclear weapons were being tested often, where rockets and missiles were being sent up, in many cases, over Japan. Mm -hmm. And uh, we uh, are in a much different situation right now. So we'll be discussing that very much, actually. Mr. Uh, I know nothing about WikiLeaks. It's not my thing. And uh, I know there is something having to do with uh, Julian Assange. I've, I've been seeing what's happened with uh, Assange, and uh, that will be a determination, I would imagine, mostly by the Attorney General, who's doing an excellent job. So he'll be making a uh, determination. I know nothing really about him. It's not my, it's not my deal in life. I don't, I don't really have any opinion. I know the Attorney General uh, will be involved in that, and he'll make a decision. Okay, Mr. President, are you pleased that your attorney general yesterday said that there was spying into your campaign in 2016? Yes, I am. I think what he said was uh, absolutely true. Uh, there was absolutely spying into my campaign. Uh, I'll go a step further. In my opinion, it was illegal spying, unprecedented spying, and something that should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And I think his answer was actually a very accurate one, and a lot of people saw that. And a lot of people understand, many, many people understand the situation and want to be open to that situation. Hard to believe it could have happened, but it did. There was spying in my campaign, and his answer was a very accurate one. Are you concerned about North Korea's chairman in mind, and does that also include It could happen. A third summit could happen. And it's step by step. It's not a fast process. I've never said it would be. It's step by step. I enjoy the summits. I enjoy being with the chairman. I think it's uh, been very productive. And it really is. It's a step by step. It's not going to go fast. I've been telling you that for a long time. If it goes fast, it's not going to be the proper deal. Is it three way summit with the leaders of the two Well, that could happen also. I, I think that would be largely dependent on Chairman Kim uh, because uh, President Moon will do what's necessary. I know President Moon has been fighting this battle for a long time. He's done an excellent job. I consider him a great ally. And uh, a lot of good things are happening. A lot of good things are happening in the world. Our economy is the best it's ever been. Our employment numbers, unemployment and employment, are the best they've ever been. We have more people working right now in the United States than we've ever had before, almost 160 million people. And likewise, South Korea is doing very well. Their economy is doing very well. And I think our trade deal has helped that process. So. Uh, we're sitting on uh, two great countries right now, and we're leading two great countries. And uh, we think that I can speak for myself, and I think I can speak for President Moon. We think that North Korea has tremendous potential and really potential under the leadership of Kim Jong un. Let's see how it all works out. I don't want to comment on that, but we have a very good relationship. Mr. President, on the Mueller report, are you concerned that Barr said that he's not going to redact that report to protect your reputation? No, I'm not concerned about anything because, frankly, there was no collusion and there was no obstruction. And we never did anything wrong. The people that did something wrong were the other side, the dirty cops and a lot of the problems that were caused. It's a disgrace what happened. And again, it should never happen to a president again. You're just lucky I happen to be the president, because a lot of other presidents would have reacted much differently than I reacted. You're very lucky I was the president during the scam, during the uh, Russian hoax, as I call it. So, no, I'm not concerned at all. Uh, the bottom line, the result is no collusion, no obstruction. And that's the way it is. And I know a lot of people were very disappointed, but they knew the real answer. You know, when the Democrats go behind the scenes and they go into a room backstage and they sit and they talk, they laugh. 
because they know it's all a big scam, a big ho hoax. And uh, it's called politics, but this is dirty politics, and this is actually treason. It's a very bad thing that people have done. And I just hope that law enforcement uh, takes it up. Because if they don't take it up, they're doing a great disservice to our country. Yes, Mr. Mayor, please. Shared events of South Korea. I think we need a long-term agreement instead of a new time. No, we're talking about long-term, and we always talk about long-term. We want to have long-term. Our relationship with South Korea is extraordinary, and we only think in terms of long-term with South Korea. Okay? Mr. Mayor, yes, I have a question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Maybe it's difficult. We will discuss about this new model of Japan industrial complex and Mount Kumbatua. Explain that to me, please. What? How much do you support President, my president's push for economic construction, uh, which includes uh, the resumption of the joint inter-Korean industrial complex and perhaps even the... Uh, uh, well, at the right time, I would have great support. This isn't the right time. But at the right time, I'd have great support with North Korea. Great support. I think that uh, South Korea, and I think Japan, and I think that the U.S., I think a lot of countries will be helping. China, I really believe, will help. I think that Russia will help. I think a lot of countries will help. When the right deal is made and when the nuclear weapons are gone, I just think that North Korea has potential as great as anything I've ever seen in terms of potential. They have an unbelievable location surrounded by sea on two sides, and on the other side, Russia, China, and over here, South Korea. You just can't do better than that. And they have magnificent land. It has tremendous potential. Uh, so the question was, uh, if uh, North Korea actually submits a, a roadmap regarding complete denuclearization, uh, are you two, are the two presidents, will you be uh, uh, discussing this issue at the summit meeting today? Yes, we will. We will be discussing it. Certainly, that's a very prime topic for our meeting today, and we hope that's going to happen. Yes. Is your position still that sanctions should stay in place on North Korea until there is denuclearization, or are you willing to consider easing sanctions to keep the talks going? No, we want sanctions to remain in place, and frankly, I had the option of significantly increasing them. I didn't want to do that because of my relationship with Kim Jong-un. I did not want to do that. I didn't think it was necessary. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, I held it back. But I think that sanctions are uh, right now at a level that's a fair level. And I, I really believe something very significant is going to happen. We could always increase them, but I didn't want to do that at this time. Mr. President, would you accept a smaller deal to keep the process going, as President Moon called it? I'd have to see what the deal is. There are various smaller deals that maybe could happen. Things could happen. You can work out step-by-step -step pieces. But uh, at this moment, we're talking about the big deal. The big deal is we have to get rid of the nuclear weapons. Thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, Thank you. players capable of winning, and I guess you could say there are a lot more than that. They're great players. I don't think a field for the Masters has ever been this deep. I was watching uh, late last night, and they were going over the different players. I think the field has never been so deep, but always Phil and Tiger and Dustin. We, I mean, you have so many great players, but they were just saying, uh, they're younger, they're stronger, they've never hit the ball this long, they've never hit the ball this accurately, they've never putted better than they do now. You know, the whole thing is pretty incredible, but the field is very, very deep. I think it's going to be a great Masters. I hope so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.